We'll see you then, Shantae. Thank you very much. Now at 4.30, new COVID infections are on the rise, up double digits in many states. This as the Delta variant continues to surge. And joining us now to answer some questions is Keith Grant, an infectious disease specialist with Hartford HealthCare. Always good to see you. Absolutely, Aaron. Thank you for having me. So unfortunately, we are seeing reports that 99% of people hospitalized with the virus are unvaccinated. Is this affecting any particular age group? And how does this all really speak to the importance of getting the vaccine? Yeah, absolutely. So um, yes, it speaks to a younger age group than we saw before. So that 99% is accounting for individuals who are not fully vaccinated and uh, individuals who are being hospitalized and, and unfortunately individuals who have died over the last few weeks from this deadly virus. Um, you know, and it does speak to the fact that the importance and, and efficacy of the actual vaccine itself at this point in time. And obviously the efficacy of the vaccines is very, very good, but there is the possibility of those breakthrough cases, though we're told when that happens, it's likely a chance that you'll need to be hospitalized uh, or die based on having the vaccine. Are we seeing any more of those so-called breakthrough cases of the Delta variant? Yeah, so we continue to see breakthrough cases. I don't think the rate has increased that much. Um, considering we've seen an increase in the rate of Delta variants, I do believe the vaccine continued to hold very well against this, this actual variant itself. There's been a lot of talk about booster shots. The FDA and CDC not saying that we saying that we don't need them right now, but Pfizer tried in their case for a third shot. Are there any updates in terms of that potential third shot or a booster shot? I know a lot of people are uh, particularly interested in that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement with the CDC on this. And the re primary reason, based on the data that we spoke about even before, the vaccine seems to be very, still maintain very good efficacy across, right? So again, a number of individuals that we're seeing that it's contributing to the increase in cases and mortality are individuals who are not fully vaccinated. So it seems the vaccines continue to be very effective. So the question and conversation about the, the boosters, I think, should start happening when we start seeing some tapering off from the effectiveness of, of the vaccine. Now, here in Connecticut, uh, keep in mind, obviously, it's the summer right now, but our positivity rate went up to 1.28 for the first time since the end of May. Uh, why do you think that's happening? Is that a concern? And is there anything that we can do to mitigate this problem? Yeah, that's a huge concern. I mean, and you know, let's let's face it, we have two subset of population right now. We have the, vac the vaccinated group and the unvaccinated group. For the unvaccinated group, you're not only in a position that we were in in March, where there is a deadly virus at a, at, a, at a rising rate, but it's a variant that is about 40 plus percent more um, uh, transmissible. So, you know, there's a lot to be concerned with. And I think with the rising rate, it is opportunities for you to have conversations with your families, with your friends. If you haven't been vaccinated, if you leave, need more information about the vaccine, there's a number of ways to get it. There's a number of resources. I know you guys have talked a lot about the vaccine, and we really do appreciate that within the community. But there's so many ways and, and, and resources now to go out, get information, and get vaccinated. Well, a lot of good information, and certainly we appreciate you and everything that you and your colleagues have been doing throughout this pandemic. And now, Keith Grant with Hartford HealthCare. As always, thanks for your expertise. Thank you for having me. Nice to see Keith again. He was yes. around a lot over the past I know, year. Long and time a half. no speak. Yeah. He